This episode of Boing Boing TV is brought to you by Verizon. It's going to be very good. Welcome to Boing Boing TV. I'm Shenny Jardin, and I'm here with John Gaeta. Hi. <laughs> and we're here talking with you about a movie that's coming out, Speed Racer. This has been in the works for some time. Did preparing for this feature um, change the way that you feel about vehicles? Like, did, do you just have this racing desire to, to go out and get in, I don't know, on, on a racetrack somewhere? Well, I'm, um, um no. <laughs> At the beginning of the movie, we uh, debated whether we wanted to try to, you know, the choice was go more real, you know, like this sort of a modern Grand Prix, you know, really heavy, in, um, or to go completely other direction and get into a zany universe where sort of you can defy physics when you want to, and I'm more into that, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm still sort of hung up on hyper-reality. What was uh, an interesting uh, other aspect about the making of this movie was that, again, it was like uh, essentially end-to-end -end green screen, and so and it was on purpose. I mean, yeah, our, our photo anime um, approach really uh, described a path where we uh, were going to sort of make this movie in components, you know, uh, foreground actors and then mid-grounds and backgrounds, and we needed to come up with them, and in a way, it was, it did seem very much like at times making an animated movie. We were constantly in composite. We were doing a lot of 3D compositing in which we were sort of laying, laying out these layers and doing false camera moves and stuff. But the layers needed to come from someplace. And so we thought that, you know, we would create an, uh, we would just like look at the idea that, you know, the big matte painting, you know, if you had a cell animated, a cartoon and you had the big matte painting that was the background and you had these other layers in front right you know you'd constantly be doing moves you know with your like old acne down shooter camera and um and so you know you would usually have these big matte paintings and all that so we wanted to have an analogy for that and we just thought that the real world could be fine for that you know because we really like the idea of like sampling the real world we're into sample cinema hi I'm Michael Bay, and I demand things to be awesome. Awesome pussycat. Awesome barbecue. Awesome pull. That's why I'm getting Verizon Files. With the awesomeness upload and download speeds. Yes, sir. Blows cable away. This is BIOS. This is big. We went around uh, North Africa, Europe, and uh, Death Valley, and these other places, um, and we would shoot, uh, you know, uh, panoramic photography of these exotic locations but you know 360 degrees a sphere if you will in all directions we would shoot with these digital stills very high resolution and uh, and um, in places that you couldn't really get a film crew ever but the idea is that what we would do is we would shoot all these scenes in front of green and we would bring these v impossible to get places back and then uh, you know with these spheres which we called bubbles right it was our nickname bubbles we would like slice and dice the photography so if something seemed in front of another thing in the picture we'd cut it out rotoscope it out and when we layer it so that you know in an animation sense when you moved on it you'd have this parallax and it would look like you know you'd have space like what you do when you're faking space in, in an animation so we decided you know we would go around and capture these exotic locations and turn them into animation layers and uh... but additionally we would um you know, do this thing that was somewhere between, you know, matte painting and, and an extreme color grading where we'd like sort of pull all the colors out and uh, enhance uh, details and paint more details to sort of tie them to the uh, Speed Racer universe. So, um, so you'd get these, you know, so instead of just a bubble with a single, la it would be like layers of an onion. So you'd have this thing that was exotically painted and you'd move, and that would be like the, the scene you know, the, and, and when you shot your scene on the green screen stage, you'd be like composing and doing camera moves and like close-ups, whatever, and you could basically, you know, go anywhere inside this bubble and, you know, pick what angles you want and you can mix and match lenses, you can change 
focal lengths. You could do whatever you wanted in composite, in a 3D composite sense. Almost like spherical cells. Correct. And um, exactly, spherical cells. And, um, and so, uh, you know, we learned a lot. Of, I mean, we've been doing it for like 12 years or whatever, so all through the Matrix trilogy and all this image-based, computer-generated backgrounds and all this virtual background stuff. Uh, but we, we changed the way that we use the same source material to now be the sort of stylistic, more simpler form that would be used on Moss to complete a movie end to end. Um, and uh, through, the, through the duration of the shoot, we met a lot of people and we had um, uh, an in-house team called the World Unit that would do all these shoots, but we also had some people we had met outside. I'm not really into roller coasters. They freak me out. Done the zero G thing. I know what that's like. I've <laughs> barfed so many times. I've had no ability to barf any further. <laughs>